week. So tell me, sir, how did it feel to, to watch Triton land today? This is an exciting day. I personally witnessed history being made again. Here, Triton coming from the West Coast to the East Coast, its longest flight ever, not just geographically, but time in the air. It was just goosebumps. It was a phenomenal uh, sight to see and to experience with the team. What does this mean for naval aviation? Uh, another inflection point of unmanned aviation capability. With this arrival of Triton here at the Naval Air Station Patuxent River, we now start in earnest the integration effort of our sensor suites and the warfighting capability that will deliver to uh, the fleet here in the 2017 timeframe. Uh, this is an enabler and a game-changing capability that will be blended with our P-8s to make sure that our fleet has got the right maritime surveillance capability today and into the future. This is an exciting day. And you can really feel that excitement among the employees and, and spectators that are here today. Talk to me about the team effort that went into making this happen. Uh, absolutely. Although the folks here are excited, you can feel the energy, the electricity, and the people, the humanistic element, as I call it. But this team, this Navy, Nav Air, PMA 262, and the Northrop Grumman team coming together, long, hard road to get the design requirements right, bend the metal, write the code, put these air vehicles together, and then put the complete system together. Each of those engineers, those scientists, those loggies, those testers, the programmatic teams, and also those enabling folks, the, the lawyers, the finance folks, the contracting officers, everybody coming together. This is a complete team effort, and each of them have a say in this and have a justifiably proud moment of bringing Triton to Pax River. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, exciting day here, sir. Uh, tell us how it felt to watch Triton land. Oh, it was incredible. I mean, this has uh, been a journey of about eight years for the team. Uh, I've been part of it for the last three years, but to be able to have the team out here to observe all of their hard work as, as Triton made its first touchdown is just incredible. So what does this mean for naval aviation, especially unmanned aviation? So this is really the future of naval aviation. I'm a P3 pilot by trade. I've flown my entire career, and, and, and Triton is part of the P3 replacement. And so when I think about that and, and uh, think about where this is going to take uh, naval aviation, it's just incredible. The technology, the, uh, the capability, it just redefines how we do things. All right, and tell me, um, tell me about the team effort that went into making this happen Oh, today. total team effort, and what's incredible is we have people here that were part of the program in the beginning who have left the program and come back. We have people on the program team who have been here since the beginning, and of course, the, the current program team, for them to come out here, and again, uh, many of them have not seen Triton uh, uh, in person before, and so the incredible feeling for the, for the team, and, and you know, it is, every person on that team is part of the success here today. Thank you, sir, I appreciate it. All right, Perfect. thanks. Thank appreciate you. It.